Hello friends, how are you doing today? In this video, I just wanted to touch upon the reference architectures. Okay, so when it comes to uh, cloud migration, app monetization, or infrastructure monetization journey, you must need uh, some reference architectures to implement the project for your company, right? So the cloud service providers um, they create the reference architectures, and also the software manufacturers they create the reference architecture and open it to the public. So what you can do, you can go and refer the reference architecture and implement uh, the projects according to the reference architecture. What are all the key benefits of referring this reference architecture? Basically, the reference architecture is consistent and standard. Why? Because as a cloud service provider or as a software manufacturer, when they come up with a strategy, what they do, they experiment with multiple use cases and come up with a standard consistent reference architecture diagram. So these uh, diagrams are so helpful for a company when they try to implement a project related to um, the services available in the cloud service provider or any software that they are buying from the software manufacturers. Okay, so Consistency and standardization are uh, key um, features of reference architecture. And uh, next thing is uh, when it comes to the reference architecture, uh, you can easily trust that reference architecture because they experimented with different use cases and scenarios in their lab and it's a proven uh, solution for you to refer and implement the project for your uh, need, okay? And uh, what other benefit that you can get from the reference architecture by referring the reference architecture? It can save your time because you don't need to come up with uh, your architecture diagram um, by uh, crushing your brain, right? It's uh, easily available for you to refer and then modify according to your own project requirements. So it saves a lot of time. And obviously when it saves time, your cost also will be saved because um, uh, the reference architectures are proven, well tested and implemented with different use cases by the cloud service provider or uh, the software manufacturers. So referring the reference architecture for implementing any of your uh, project is very very important we can go over uh, the different types of uh, reference architectures provided by different cloud service providers and uh, as part of this video i just wanted to take one cloud service provider and go over all the reference architecture diagrams provided by that particular cloud service provider and understand how those reference architecture can be useful for us to uh, learn and implement in any of our um, architecture project, okay? So I picked uh, IBM uh, reference architecture as a key example because that is a well-defined and easily understandable um, reference architecture template. We can go over this template and understand what uh, the reference architecture means and how it should look like and how it will fit to the modern um, cloud migration, app modernization, platform modernization, or infrastructure modernization journey uh, for especially for the cloud architects, okay? So if you look at this diagram, we'll start from the bottom, right? When you implement any architecture, it must be applicable for uh, any public cloud or in case if you are using any private cloud or you are using a power or edge computing anywhere, the base of the platform will sit from here, right? And on top of that, uh, you may have multiple platform architecture strategy. Here, um, you can use uh, Red Hat OpenShift as a, one of the advanced uh, platform technology, and you can build any of the application. And on top of that, if you look at it, this particular uh, architecture can be applicable for any of your architecture needs. Suppose as an organization, you want to digitalize your uh, application, which is not a modern application. It is like legacy application. You wanted to digitalize uh, with the business automation. You, you can choose the services, software available for that category and then fit in with your modern architecture. So this reference architecture diagram shows that you can build on any of the infrastructure with uh, uh, a powerful uh, platform and also the specific software that you want to implement for your project needs. 
when it comes to data right if you are a organization is a data organization that relies morely on the data uh, where the metadata come from different sources and you want to modernize the data and utilize and get the benefit out of the data you can build your uh, data specific architecture on top of this platform and some of your applications may not be a cloud native application you might uh, need to go for a cloud native application uh, from the legacy application you can build uh, all the cloud native application and then put on top of this platform and build your own architecture and that is uh, equivalent to your application modernization and when it comes to the integration right your organization may be in the journey of uh, integration modernization that means like uh, you might be using a legacy integration platform or software and you would like to modernize uh, those platform and software to improve the efficiency of your applications um, the integration architecture can sit on top of this platform and uh, provide a lot of benefit to your organization and um, some of the organizations might be the event driven uh, organization basically the data uh, that comes to the organization may come as an event and your organization must uh, rely on the event to get more benefit out of this so you can build uh, the event driven architecture on top of this uh, modernized platform so if you look at this uh, architecture diagram uh, from the bottom this infrastructure where your uh, um, platform is going to sit and this is your uh, platform architecture where your platform on top of that your application is going to run is going to sit in this layer and uh, these architectures specific to the area of your organization most rely on so that we saw and when we uh, go for a modernized or modern uh, architecture diagram this is very important to implement uh, analytics and ai blockchain iot and mobile features right uh, so those can sit on top of your um, specialty architecture like data integration event driven all those steps and uh, if you look at the two pillars on the two sides the security and compliance must be Uh, they are across all the layers i put on another video uh, you can go and watch where we talked about the security across all the layers of the architecture so any architecture that you are building must have the security across all the layers so in this reference architecture what we see here is like um, the security and compliance uh, starting from the infrastructure layer and uh, Uh, it spans across this uh, platform uh, layer and also it spans across the specialty architecture layer and also it covers the advanced technology architecture layer right similarly the management operations so when it comes to implementing the key architecture for your uh, application or if your business requirement you must um, take care of this operations management so what exactly it means like when you implement this uh, architecture for any of the, your project the monitoring is very very important because uh, you don't know what happens in each layer right sometimes the failure occurs in uh, infrastructure layer some sometimes failure occurs in platform layer failure occurs in the specialty architecture layer and failure occurs in the advanced technology layer wherever right so you must have very strong the monitoring mechanisms to cover all the failures and uh, also like in case if you are implementing in the multi cloud environment you may have like your own private cloud and uh, some of your applications may run in uh, the public cloud service providers and um, your uh, monitoring systems should be very strong and capable enough to monitor across the multi cloud layer okay and uh, uh, devops when it comes to the devops the ci cd pipeline automation all those uh, can be implemented across all the four layers okay that's why this pillar covers all the four layers of this reference architecture and when it comes to the resiliency resiliency is nothing but uh, the ability of your system to quickly recover from the failure right so the failure may occur in infrastructure layer failure occur can occur in the platform layer failure may occur in your specialty architecture layer and failure may occur in the advanced technology layer too right so in these cases um your uh, entire architecture should be uh, very resilient and it should bounce back from the failure 
and serve the customer without any issues right so that's the reason that um, you implement all the technologies uh, which are going to help to manage the operations of your entire architecture and if you look at the top layer this architecture reference architecture can be implemented across the industries like suppose if you are running your business in the retail industry and if you are a supply chain company and if you are an automotive company insurance company finance company telecom company whatever right um, uh, this architecture is the modern reference architecture it can be implemented with uh, different uh, specialty architecture requirement based on your um, Um, business use cases or the urge of implementing your uh, architecture for modernizing your application or modernizing your infrastructure or platform okay so this is a clear cut uh, reference architecture provided by ibm and uh, we can go over uh, each category here right um, how you can implement a project in a public cloud right irrespective of the cloud service provider any public cloud with any platform technology with a powerful uh, hybrid cloud platform technology with the data modernization architecture right and also with the uh, integration modernization architecture and we can implement uh, you can see the reference architecture for even different uh, use cases along with that how you can integrate infuse ai with your architecture all those reference architectures can be viewed or used effectively for your organization we can go over one by one uh, hope you might have got the power of uh, reference architecture and how you can utilize the services provided by ibm uh, in this case we can um, talk about uh, the detailed architecture reference architecture for each category in upcoming videos take care bye